Well, you know, all, all this is based in black music. I mean, you know, yeah. uh, I had, there was a guy in my neighborhood, his name was Willie. He was the janitor in one of these uh, apartment buildings. And he played guitar. And he used to, uh, he used to play Chuck Berry tunes like, uh, he, he would show me tunes like. Motivating back in town, I saw a Cadillac signs. He used to play like that. I said, I need that other pick. But uh, he used to play. He used to play like uh, rock and roll music. Like I guess he he cut his teeth on Robert Johnson and Lightning Hopkins and all that stuff. So he used to he used to play rock and roll on the stoops in Bronx, New York City. But I learned like a lot of this uh, kind of guitar playing from him and I, I kind of got based in it, but I never knew it existed. I thought he was like an original. He didn't have any of these albums or anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then later on I started, uh, when I went to Columbia. Columbia Records? Columbia, yeah. When you get this old, you get the file that's good. I mean, it's not by, you know, Paraguay. No, the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I went to Columbia Records, uh, I was with them in, in the early 60s, and John Hammond, Sr., who brought Dylan and uh, Springsteen and to And Robert Columbia. Johnson. Yeah, <laughs> Robert Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, he played me some of these records, because he heard me next door, he says, Dion, he says, he says, you playing this stuff like the Bronx blues or something. He says, you got a real flair for the blues. He says, you want to hear some stuff? I said, yeah, I didn't know this guy. So I walked in his office, and he pulled out records like, Furry Lewis and uh, Mississippi John Hurt, and it blew my mind. I, I said, where did you get this? I was like mad. I was excited, but I was angry. Be like I had, was resentful. Like, who's been hiding this stuff from me? Yeah, you, mm -hmm. got, you, know, where, you know, you had no right, you know, this has been around what? Yeah, I felt that you way. You know, I was, yeah. like, man, I was like mad. I, I came home, my wife's sitting here, just to tell you, I came home with a... <laughs> stack of Columbia Records? Uh, you know, I had a stack <laughs> of like albums on them, and I just, kind of went into the woodshed for like a, a year but just listened listening to, to Hank Williams earlier on when you yeah, were a kid. Like cool. on your first album, even though I wonder why it was like the all-time doo-wop group thing, there was like country stuff on there. Yeah. And like an attempted blues, there was some other, you know, there was almost some guitar stuff on there. Yeah, it's, a, it's funny. See, I come from a time where like there was no rock and roll. They, they had like the race music. I mean, I think... Uh, Alan Freed started playing, what, Ruth Brown and, uh, mm -hmm. uh, who is it, Laverne Baker. You know, that's the right. first stuff I remember hearing, but, like, there was no rock and roll, and then all of a sudden, it started to, you know, perk, oh, you wait. know, in the neighborhood. So, I come out of this Hank Williams tradition where this, where I, I hear stuff like, uh, Yeah, I live my So, so then you start hearing this, uh, you know, the, the horn parts. So when I started making the music, um, you couldn't, you couldn't conjure up, a, you know, I didn't know any horn sections or anything. So we were hearing horn parts. I'd get the guys on the corner and we would sing the... Parts, they sing. Ruby, 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 baby. We were hearing horns, so we. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's like the tradition of doo up. You didn't have the instruments, and right. so you did it with with vocals. Mm. Yeah. So that's how so we did. Yeah. <laughs> the, the thing that got me. One so of the it's kind of like rock and roll doo wop mm -hmm. country music. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know what I mean, that's the kind of stuff that, uh, with an Italian. Uh, Expression. Yeah. And don't forget the don't forget the I Yiddish don't part too yeah. from uh, <laughs> Little right. Diane. Little Diane, yeah, the right. Jewish right. rock Because in the book he talks about the fact that Little Diane has a cantor kind of a, 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 intonation right. to it. Yeah, we throw everything in. Yeah. 
And that, that actual parallels right. Cab Calloway, who did the same yeah. thing. It does have a Hasidic yeah. kind of quality to well, it. Well, the one that really has uh, the canter, and I, I don't know what key I did this in, but... That uh, born, to born, to, born to cry. Wow. Yeah. 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 Now I know why I like that. I th Jewish same, rock and roll. Same thing. I mean, I'm really <laughs> fixed on that record. Maybe that's why. Yeah. yeah. See, today they would call that fusion. <laughs> but it was Jewish rock and roll. So.